Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We finally hit 5,000 subscribers, you guys, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your love and support. It truly means so, so much to me. You guys are so sweet. You're always saying that you guys think I deserve more subscribers, but honestly, I love what I do, and I'd rather have you guys than have millions and millions of subscribers and not have you guys, so it's all good. <laughs> Also, I will be doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, so hopefully we can get there quickly enough. And if we can get there quickly enough, I may or may not do a 10,000 calorie challenge. I don't necessarily want to, but it's probably my most requested video. I don't know why, it just is. I will do it for you guys if we can get there quickly enough. Okay, so for this video, I took a, or put a few polls up on the YouTube community tab asking you guys what I should do to celebrate 5k and the first poll of cinnamon rolls won and then I decide to narrow it down to the two top contenders and in that poll dips and spreads won and then somebody commented and they were like why don't you just do both and I'm like why not so I have these store-bought cinnamon rolls from the brand simple truth they're the Smith's brand, I'm pretty sure, the vegan ones. These are my favorite store-bought ones, so I got these. And then we have a plethora of spreads. I have Jif Creamy and Jif Crunchy Peanut Butter. And I also have some strawberry jam that I didn't put up here because it doesn't look pretty. Um, but I'll put it up here when I want it. I have Cookie Butter. I have Vega Spread. And then I made quite a few different dips. So this is cinnamon roll dip, this is caramel, this is just melted vegan by chocolate, melted chocolate, uh, all vegan by the way, cookie dough and brownie batter, and then I have vegan sprinkles, vegan M&Ms, and vegan mini chocolate chips. Oh, and then I also have some bread for the spreads, and yes, I cut the crusts off because it looks cuter like this, but I will be eating the, the crusts too, don't worry. And then also, I'm doing a Q&A because I always do Q&As when I get more subscribers just so you can get to know me. But I'm going to start with the food first because I'm so excited. I think I'm going to start with a cinnamon roll. I think I'm actually going to dip this one in the cinnamon roll dip. I know that's kind of redundant, but it's going to be good. Mm. Yum. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was a lot. Mmm. The chocolate chips add a really nice touch. Okay, I think I'm gonna try some of the caramel. Mmm. I know I'm just going to get messy again, but that was 
a lot of mess. Okay, I think I'm actually going to put some cookie dough on one of them and like make a loaded cinnamon roll. I think I'm gonna do a drizzle of Bego. I don't know how much of a drizzle this is going to be. We'll just spread it over the top. And then I think I'm gonna add a few M&Ms. That is so good. I know it's all over my face, but. There I go again, making a mess on my floor. This is so good. Okay, I need water and then I'll get to the first question. Also, thank you guys so much for all your questions. They make these videos possible, so I really appreciate it. Okay, IT underscore Michelle asked, Are you excited for fall? What kind of videos do you have planned? Are you planning on doing another donut or dessert mukbang? Love your vid. Mm, thank you. Yes, I am so incredibly excited for fall. Oh my goodness, I have so many videos planned. And definitely dessert. I mean, obviously I have a dessert mukbang right now, but... I do have some dessert mukbangs planned for the future, and I'm very excited. Okay, I'm going to take some of the bread and dip it in the cinnamon roll dip. The cinnamon roll dip is just top tier. So this is the brownie batter. Mm. That is amazing. Oh my goodness.
Let's get some brownie batter cookie dough action going on. Okay, I'm going to make peanut butter and jelly. Sandy Sock 6611 asked, what is your least favorite thing that you've eaten on this channel? Also, I'm so sorry if this is too personal, but do you ever have body image problems before and after a mukbang? So, to answer the first question, honestly, probably in one of my taste test videos, I had this buffalo risotto rice. I think it was supposed to be like a buffalo style risotto, but it tasted like throw up. And the other thing... Probably the beefless bulgogi from Trader Joe's. I just could not eat that. It was really, really gross to me. Um, and then I also really wanted to answer the second half of that question because I feel like a lot of people are curious. To be honest, I actually never really have a bad body image day before I film. And even after I film, typically I don't really have bad body image because I know that it's just bloating from what I've eaten and that it's not going to last. I just have to remind myself that it's normal and our body fluctuates and that's just the way that our body works. Like I'm eating all of this so it's gonna happen, you know? So I'm just prepared for that and it really, really helps. So I actually rarely struggle with bad body image after or before a mukbang. And I'm really, really grateful that it's gotten to that point because it used to not be that way because I didn't understand. But now I do and understanding the whole concept is a lot easier. Mm. Mm. Understanding that that is the concept, like understanding that that's how it works makes it easier. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to try some of the melted white chocolate. This kind of got a really weird texture in the microwave, so we'll see how it is. Taste bomb. Oh wow. I was gonna dip it in the sprinkles, but I think that's gonna make too much of a mess, so. Mmm. Party and a bite. That's what I'm talking about. Get 
gonna load up the center of the cinnamon roll. Ha! Mar underscore DSS asked, what is your favorite song of the moment? Have you ever seen a K-drama? Favorite song? There are way too many to pick one. So I'm just going to tell you that now. But I think my number one favorite song right now that I could listen to just on repeat, I think it's called Be the One to Love You by Howard Jones. It's an 80s song and it is such a bop. It is so good. Well, it's not, I think it's newer, so it's not technically 80s, but... Howard Jones is an 80s singer, so technically it's 80s. It's so, so good. Like, I could listen to it till I die. Highly recommend. I'm gonna put some brownie powder with the Biscoff. Honestly, this GIF is not as good as natural peanut butter. Peanut butters aren't necessarily hitting the spot right now. But it also doesn't help that I've had a bajillion other things that are super sweet. Yasmin Abdelnor1 asked, if you had to be non-vegan for a day and could eat whatever you want, what would you choose? How are you, by the way? I love you. Oh, I love you too. Well, first of all, I'm doing really well. I'm having so much fun over here. Um, I mean, we all have our ups and our downs. I just like to bring the positivity to my channel. So, doing good right now. And I'm enjoying life. I was just thinking about being non-vegan for a day, and I got kind of grossed out. I'm going to do more cinnamon roll dip because it's just so good. But honestly, I would either eat Little Debbie or Hostess snacks because those are my childhood. So, yeah, it would probably be those or like a restaurant that's not vegan but I used to go to with my family all the time. Like, like not, I don't have a specific one in mind. Oh, well now I do. There's this restaurant called La Frontera and it's a Mexican restaurant. They don't have vegan options but I used to go there all the time with my family so I would probably, I'd go out to a bunch of restaurants all day. <laughs> Like I was mentioning earlier, we all have our ups and our downs, and that was one of my downs. <laughs> I'm kidding.
May underscore Grace 1999 asked, one food you can never get tired of. Definitely chocolate for sure. Chocolate is just something that I can literally eat bowls of and not get tired of it. It's just that good to me. Because like with peanut butter, I love it, but I get tired of it. And I can't believe I'm saying that, but I do. So yeah, it will probably have to be chocolate. Oh my goodness, I forgot to answer the second question from Mar underscore DSS. Have you ever seen a K-drama? And I don't watch K-dramas, but it was many, many years ago. I was having a sleepover at my friend's house, and we were watching Descendants of the Sun, and I actually, like, fell in love with the show. We binge-watched, I think, the first season. We watched a lot of episodes. <sighs> And I really, really liked it. So, I know a lot of people out there don't like K dramas, but I mean, I've only seen one, but I liked it, so. Also, I just have a special place in my heart for Asians, because if you didn't know, I used to live in China. So, I just love. Asians. Okay, I'm going to answer a few more questions because I'm very sugared out. At Raphael Hardwick asked, why did you go vegan and what is your favorite vegan meal? So I've answered this multiple times on my channel before, but I will tell you guys again because there are a lot of you who are new. I was vegetarian already. I wasn't eating dairy because I, I'm not lactose intolerant. I say I'm lactose intolerant because it's easier. I'm just sensitive to dairy. And so I wasn't eating dairy. I was learning about veganism. I really liked everything I learned upon doing my research on it. And I discovered that there were a ton of health benefits to it too. So I wanted to go vegan and when I did, boy oh boy did my life change positively. There was so much positive change in my life. I had more energy. I was more excited about life, I had more flavor in life. It was mainly for health and also the fact that I just don't like eating meat or dairy. But also learning about the cruelty that some animals face is just ugh, heartbreaking. So being vegan is just, it's a wonderful thing for me and I just feel so good doing it. Mentally, physically, and emotionally. And then my favorite vegan meal, anything Indian, or probably my vegan goulash recipe that I made, or my burger casserole. They're just super hearty, filling meals, and they're really, really good, so. And obviously I go for sweets first, but when you say meal, I think of like, savory for some reason. Dessert, my red velvet pizuki, hands down. Angard dash MZ six DW asked if you had to eat a piece of meat, which meat would you choose and why? Definitely not pork. Pork is just so unbearably disgusting to me. I mean all meat is, but especially that one. It would probably be some type of fish. Something that is hidden in sushi. 
I'm just kidding. You said piece of meat, so probably plain. But yeah, probably fish. Which I didn't expect to say because seafood disgusts me too. <laughs> but I guess not as much. Okay, last one. At SD Neathling 5586 asked, will you ever buy your own place? Are you the only child in the house now with your parents? I do plan on getting my own house eventually. I want to, if um, prices don't keep skyrocketing, which they won't go back down, that's for sure, unfortunately. And then I have three younger brothers who also live with my parents with me. My sister, uh, second oldest, she got married. I don't know if you guys know that, but she still lives like, it's a five minute drive probably to get to her house from here. And so she still visit, visits pretty frequently. Sorry guys, I had to charge my camera battery. So if it looks different, that's why. But I think I was saying, oh yeah, it still feels like she, my sister lives here. So it honestly doesn't feel as lo as lonely as I thought it would with her being gone. Man, I'm full. Not full, shook it out. But it was so good. All right, you guys, that is going to be the end of this mukbang. Thank you so, so much for your questions. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for 5,000 subscribers. I love you all so much. I really hope you enjoyed this mukbang. I definitely did. It was so much fun and definitely different than what I was expecting, but I think a lot more fun. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.